A ship lost at city by Bunker Hill, the USS Constitution. A ship with jets? Upon further inspection of the ship, you're greeted by Mr. Handy, a member of the crash ship. He will ask of your military background. Being that you were in the army before the war, he lets you on the ship. Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre-war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion. Ahoy there. Tis Providence, a member of the Congressional Army, is delivered to us in our hour of need. I found it a little confusing to get on the ship, so all I have to do is enter the building down there. And go up to the left, and there's a set of stairs. Follow it on the left until you get to the end. Where you'll see a little bridge that goes across this hole in the ship. I guess that's where they crashed. And you're going to enter the USS Constitution. The first mate is a bit on the edgy side. I pay no mind to it. Identified. Intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. Get on top of the boat. I'm sorry, my boat talk is a bit off seeing as I have no experience on a boat. But anyway, go talk to the captain. He tells you he's happy to see you and that he hates that he can't help with the war effort. He asks you to help repair the ship with a persuasion check. Your reward may be bigger. Right after his dialogue is over, a group of scavengers will attack. Hey, captain. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Report to Bozen on the lower deck. Beware that Bozen's a little peppy and as well as missing all of his appendages. Here. Your very presence does this right upper here. unit a great honor. And the next one here. And finally, the third one here. Our mission. Next, he asks you to buy or repair the power relay coil. To buy, just go to Bunker Hill and talk to Doug. It's just because cheap. the Brotherhood won doesn't mean they'll share their toys. They are replaced here. Talk to Mr. Navigator. He asks you to recover the guidance chip. Ahoy, soldier! An unmarked scavenger post is located right in front of the ship. Talk to the girl and she may give it back. But I prefer to just kill them after stealing. Place the guidance chip and talk to Mr. Navigator. Now he wants you to replace oh, the big dish on the ship. Well. Man, this thing needs a lot of work. It's located in an open building at the bottom of the stairs. Be aware of rad roaches and blow flies. Get the dish repaired and Mr. Navigator will give you some caps. Talk with iron sights now. He admits that he is too fat to fit in his quarters and gives you the key. And now, now this is the less objective. Get some barriers. I had hoped the guidance chip could be recovered without fighting. They're located at the Corvega assembly plant where you killed Kellogg. Kill some more raiders and retrieve the barrier. Put the new bearings back in. It's located in the captain's quarters. Report back to the captain. He says the ship is ready and you have to fend off some more scavengers. After this, travel across the street and flip the breaker on the roof of the building. Now watch as the ship sets sail. Captain Ironsides. Trim the power on the starboard bow. Ahoy, soldier. We're ready for our auxiliary. Power nominal? Excellent. Commencing final countdown. Three.
this is the story of a flying ship and it's not so smart robots that are horrible at fighting. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Sorry for that lag. And I'll see you guys later. Make sure you leave some feedback in the comment section. I'd love some feedback from y'all. See what you think. See what I should do differently. Anyway guys, see you later. Stay shady.